Welcome to Heirloom Ornaments. I'm Stacy, and today's video, this week's video, we'll be making wine cozies. Um, these are snowmen looking ones. These are great for the winter. These are great for girls' night. Everybody has a color and everybody knows whose drinks whose. And we took some white yarn, a little bit of scrap yarn, uh, and some basic beginner crochet techniques. Let's get started. Okay, to start, the supplies you'll need are your worsted weight white yarn. This is just plain white from Red Heart and then whatever color you want your scarves to be. And that's a great opportunity to use up your scrap yarn. I'll be using for the demonstration, this is Cherry Red by Red Heart, worsted weight yarn. Just need a little bit. Your size G hook, a darning needle, some buttons, and some embellishments if you want to, they're optional. And of course, some scissors. To start, I'm gonna leave a nice long tail of about 12 to 15, about 12, about eight, Ah, I guess it's about 15 inches long. I'm not very good at that. We're going to put a uh, slip knot onto your hook. So you just slip knot it onto there, however you like to do your hook. And your knot, everybody does it different. And then we're just going to chain up 36. Chain is up, it's just yarn over, pull through. One, two, three, four, five. And I'll meet up with you once you get to 36. 34, 35, 36. And now while you're keeping this straight, make sure you're completely straight, you're gonna wrap around and slip stitch to the first stitch on your chain. Now this is the back hump. That's how I like to put my um, crochet, my first row, I always use the back hump. I like the way it looks in the end. You're just gonna slip stitch it all the way through. So for now, for round one, you're gonna chain up three, one, two, three, and you're just gonna do a double crochet in each stitch around. A double crochet is yarn over, go into that back hump, you know, I like the back hump, uh, or whatever you call it, stitch, yarn over, pull through, you have three on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. I'll do that again, yarn over, into the stitch, the hump or the front, whatever you do it, Yarn over, pull through, whoops. You got three on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And you're gonna do that for a single, I'm sorry, a double crochet in each stitch all the way around for a total of 36. Don't forget this chain three counts as our first double crochet. I'll meet you when you come back around the other side. Okay, and now that you've just crocheted a double crochet in each stitch all the way around, you should have 36 double crochets you're gonna go back to your chain three. Don't forget that was our first double crochet and slip stitch into the top. So you're gonna to put your hook in, yarn over, pull through and just pull through. You're just slip stitching it on. And now you wanna chain up three. So yarn over one, two, three. And then in that same space, I'm gonna put my first double crochet. So yarn over, put your hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull through. You got three on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, just a double crochet. And I'm gonna double crochet, one double crochet in each stitch all the way around. So yarn over into the stitch, yarn over, pull through. You got three on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. I tend to pinch my work, so I'm trying to move my fingers for you as we can. So I'll do this one without pinching. Yarn over into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, three on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, Yarn over, pull through two. You're gonna do that all the way around and I'm gonna meet you back at the uh, at the start and stitch. And now that you've 36 crochet, double crochets all the way around, you're gonna go back to the top of this one and slip stitch again. Now you have two rows. We're gonna do the exact same thing for a total of five rows. So you've done two, you're gonna do three more the same way. One, two, three, chain up, double crochet into the same one and then in each one around. And then I'll meet back up with you once you finish your five total rows. You've completed five rows of your 36 stitches. You're going to slip stitch into the top of the first one and we're just gonna fasten off. And now we're done with that row, we're done with the white. So next you wanna grab your scarf color and we're just gonna put a slip knot onto there and slip stitch it into the top row. I'm gonna lay down my white so that I can trap it in there just so I can hide it. 
So just to change the color, we're just gonna um, slip stitch onto your hook into the uh, pattern where you want to start. And I'm just gonna start right where I left off. Yarn over, move that out of our way and just pull it straight through. That's all we're doing. And we're gonna chain up one. So that's all we did. We slip stitched and then chained up one. Now we're going to single crochet in every stitch around, starting with the space we chained one up on. So we're just gonna go put our hook in, yarn over. We got two on the hook and pull through the two. Yarn, put your hook in, yarn over, pull through two. That's just your single crochet. And we're gonna, and I'm trapping in my white so I don't have to worry about it later and I'll trap in the red towards the end. And so we have two, this is three, four, five, and I'm gonna do this all the way around for all 36 and I'll meet you back up at the end. Okay, so now that you finished row six, which was just a single crochet all the way around, we're gonna slip stitch back into the top of the stardom uh, single crochet, which is just yarn over and pull through, chain up one, single crochet back into that same spot and slip stitch all the way around. I'm sorry, single crochet all the way around. So row six is exactly the same as row seven. We're just gonna single crochet, 36 single crochets all the way around. And then I'll meet back up with you at the end. Okay, now that you've 36 single crochets all the way around, we're gonna slip stitch back into the top of that round and we're gonna chain up one and single crochet into that same one. Start of the other was two rows, same thing. This is, now we're going to do uh, eight more. So it's a total of nine. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. And now row, I'm sorry, the next stitch will be a, a decrease. We're just gonna make it a little tighter at the top. So we want to go um, crochet these next two together. A single crochet together as you go into this uh, stitch, yarn over, leave it on the hook, go into the next stitch right next to it, insert, yarn over, you now three on the hook and pull all three together. So that's a uh, decrease in. We're gonna do another nine, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now we're gonna do that again. So I'm gonna show you that again. We're gonna put our hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull up. Put in the next, the very next stitch, hook in, yarn over, pull up. You got three on the hook. You're gonna do that again another time. So you'll do nine and then crochet together and you'll have three left and you'll just put a single crochet in those last three. To make the scarf, we're gonna put a, a slip knot onto our chain. I'm not sorry, onto our hook. And we're gonna chain up three, which is just one, two, three. And now in the second chain from the hook, which is right there, right there. So the chain on the hook doesn't count. There's the one we just did, so that's the second one. We're just gonna make a single crochet. So we're gonna go into the bump, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through. And then the next one, we're going to go in there, same thing, just a simple single crochet. And that was row one, just two of them. So now to do row two, turn your work, chain up one, and we're gonna go into uh, one single crochet in each of those two, big long row, right? <laughs> one and two. And then the same thing, we're gonna chain up one, and then in both of these, we're gonna do this for a total of 10 rows. So I have nine, so again, chain up. Well, we turn, then chain up. Uh, and this will be 10, single crochet in the one, single crochet into, whoops, let me make sure I get that in there, two. Now for row 11, we're gonna turn our work, chain up one, 
but I'm gonna do a single crochet in the next two, but only in the back loop. So this is your stitch. These are your two stitches. I don't wanna go in the stitch. I just wanna go in the back loop. So you're gonna split in the middle there, yarn, uh, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Same thing with the one next to it. We're gonna go in just the back loop only, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through. Now we're gonna do another stitch in that second one. See, put your hook in the same spot, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So you technically now have three single crochets. For row, uh, that was row 11, so row 12, we're gonna yarn up one and turn over, and we're only gonna put a single crochet in the next two. And we're gonna use both loops, not the back loop like before. So now we're gonna go into the first stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through. Go into the second one, both loops, yarn in, uh, hook in, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through. And now we're gonna chain up one, and we're gonna do this for a total of eight rows. So we already have two, we're gonna do six more. So this will be row three, and we're only doing two, That only that first one row that we do that. Uh, and that was just so that we can make it kind of go crooked. Let me see the green one's easiest to see on camera. Uh, see how I wanted to go on an angle? So that's why I did the three and then I left that one. So now it's going to perm naturally go in it in a like a like a scarf would hang. Uh, and I did this one ten and this one eight, but you can do them as long as you as low long as you want. So I'm gonna finish this till I get to my eight rows on my downside, and then I'll meet back up with you. Now I just finished row eight of that. I'm just gonna fasten off, which is just a slip stitched off. And we're gonna cut it and that's it. So now, as you can see, it's gonna lay the way I want it to lay when I go to sew it on. And that's what we're gonna do now. I'm just gonna cut a piece of yarn with my darning needle, sew it back on. So now with a darning needle and a piece of the yarn, the red yarn, I'm gonna sew it on to the, back, the uh, scarf one. So I'm just gonna tie it on, nothing fancier than that. We're just, this is the inside, so you're not really gonna see this anyway. I'm just gonna tie it on like a regular tie trim it up a little bit and then I'm going to get my scarf and now that I have it laid down depends on which way you want on the front I like the shorter side on the front and I'm just gonna uh, stitch it on like you you just sew in like regular sewing and I want to get it down along mostly where the uh, front post that we didn't uh, front stitch that we didn't sew on just go right around it over and over okay and uh, just uh the noise you hear is this is philly and we just made it to the world series so my house is loud i have a very uh, sports oriented family now it's up to you i prefer to tack these down a little bit you can let them hang if you want but as you can see here i like it tacked down so just basic sewing technique any way you want um and i don't even tack it completely just a couple spots i don't leave a big gap on the front but on the inside i will meaning keep it close here or you'll see the big line but here i don't really care what it looks like and just sew it on i'm sure you got the gist of that and then i'll come back and we'll do the bottom so now that you sewed on your scarf you're gonna take your darning needle and that extra piece that I said keep really long in the beginning, we're gonna tighten up the bottom a little bit. So you turn your wine glass upside down and you put this on top and you wanna make it so it's a little snug. Otherwise, if you're holding the glass, it's just gonna slide. Well, this is a little tighter, but it might slide through. Plus, this is what makes it different than a just a regular cup cozy. I wanna make it curve the bottom a little bit so that it, it shapes like a, like a snowman. And you just want to weave it in and out. If you saw the uh, wine cozy that we did for um, the pumpkin, it's, it's basically the same thing. Don't skip too many. You don't have to go in each and every single one, but you're just going to weave in and out. Again, you don't have to do every one, but if you skip a gap, it'll be like a big pinch. So you don't want to skip too much. So in and out, in and out, all the way around. And you want to pull it a little bit each time, just because you're, you're, you are trying to tighten it up. We did the decrease on the top to tighten a little bit, but we don't want to decrease that too much. That's why we only did that 
uh, three separate decreases on there. Um, if you forgot to leave the long tail, just tie a piece on. It's not a big deal. It's not the end of the world. So one good thing about crochet and fiber art and fiber, being a fiber artist is um, it's easy to fix things. You, you can just re-sew it, re-add it on. Any of that stuff looks cute. There we go. There we go. I cheat and do a couple at a time. Yeah, just a little bit. Now, you may want to make, the reason I say this, do this at the end, is if you have a smaller or a bigger wine glass, you might have to tighten it more than somebody else or less than somebody else. The other thing I wanted to point out too is this is 36 around. These are fairly decent cups. These are from the dollar store, the stemless wine cups. Um, if you have a bigger cup, you might want to add more stitches. If you have a smaller cup, you might want to only do 30, 33 stitches. Just move this around. So I think this is where I want it. Let's do this. We'll double check. And if you notice, I also didn't go all the way to the top with the sewing because if you're drinking out of it, you don't want to put your mouth on the yarn. And I did these all different because for girls night, we'll know whose cup's whose. So this looks good to me. I'm going to tie this off. Um, I'll knock that off when we're done. But in the meantime, I want to put the buttons and all on. You can sew these on, but I'm actually just going to hot glue gun them on because I just think it's easier. Um, let me lay this here. I'm going to put the hot glue on these little snowflakes, which I used in my last video also on the uh, gift tags. If you don't have these, no big deal. Don't put them on. If you got something else that's cute, little uh, beads of some sort that you have left from another project, use those. And then the buttons. My buttons even aren't all the same. Whatever buttons you have, you're going to put those on. Put this one on here. I need another glue stick. I'm running low. I do a lot of glue in the day. There we go. And you could sew these on, but again, it's easier just to glue them on. Well, that one had a big hole, buttonhole. There we go. We'll clean that up in the end. These are a little bit bigger than the ones I used on the other three. And we'll put that one on there. Give that a couple seconds to dry, and then we'll just clean that off. There we go. There we go. And now you have it. We have all of our wine cozies ready for the winter, ready for girls' night. Everybody has their own color.